Hello everybody, it's Nancy, and today I thought I would play around with um, some more Blue Night Rubber stamp sets. I have a couple here that I think would go well together. So the first one is this scene, it's the beach scene. And then we have the beach fences, and then some accessories, the sand castle and accessories. So... I am going to be stamping on some watercolor paper because again, playing around with the pan pastels, which if you are going to be heading to any stamp shows where Blue Night Rubber stamps are, they have now signed up with pan pastels. So you should be able to uh, catch them at a show and pick up these stamps and their pan pastel colors. The colors may be slightly different from mine because I did purchase mine um, before pan pastels had signed up with Blue Night Rubber stamps. So um, I'm not sure what colors you'll be getting. So just letting you know the colors will, will be a little different. Anyway, I've mounted the main beach scene stamp inside my mini misty let me adjust my angle here so you guys can see what I'm doing and I'm going to stamp that with some I think we'll go with the VersaFine Claire I am stamping on the smooth side of the watercolor paper. Okay. All right, that came out pretty good. And because we're using VersaFine, I'm going to heat set that so that it sets in place. Oops, no, I'm not. My heat tool is unplugged. All right, so the first thing I'm going to do is start with the sky, and I'm going to use the cloud stencil also from Blue Night Rubber Stamps. And I'm going to get my blues out here. And I'm going to use the lightest blue. And I do have my paper towel and my sponges off to the side here. And I'm going to go in with the little fluffy clouds here. Actually, I'm going to start from the bottom and work my way up. And I'm going to go in with the turquoise, which is a really light blue. go in with my my colorless blender and just kind of blend over that sky a little bit and I think I need to go back in and do that a little darker let's try that again Using the phthalo blue this time, which is a little darker, and angling my stencil and moving it around. Okay. 
now going back in with my colorless blender and trying to blend that again. All right, we have a little bit more of a cloudy look now. What it does is it eliminates those harsh lines and actually gonna go in, forgot my eraser, here we go. And I'm just gonna follow some of the contours there and erase some of that and pastel out of the way. Okay, so we have our cloudy sky there. All right, now we're gonna go in and do the water. So again, gonna go in with a little bit of the turquoise first and just swipe that in, very easy to do. Then end up going with a little darker, the phthalo blue, and just doing that off into the background a little bit, randomly bringing that forward. Okay, so we have a nice mixture of blues there. And then for the sand, I don't have a brown, so we're gonna have to do a little bit of mixing here. I'm just gonna take my little um, sponge bar here and off to the side on the mat here, I'm gonna take a little bit of the yellow. Just kind of put some of that down on the mat. And then on the other side of my sponge, I'm gonna grab a little bit of the purple and put some of that down on the mat and kind of mix them together. And you can see I'm getting this kind of brownish color. I'm gonna pick that up with the sponge. Still a little too purpley, but that's okay. We'll be able to blend it out. And I'm very lightly putting it in here. And I'm gonna go back in over it. I'm just doing a very light, light coverage here. I'm gonna go back in with the yellow and blend that out until I get the brown that I'm looking for. So just doing some color mixing here. I know it looks like a hot mess right now, but we will be able to fix it. Just a tiny bit more purple. adding a little bit of the turquoise to try to lighten it up a little bit. So now it's actually looking a little green. So now I mixed enough blue and yellow that's actually looking kind of green. And I don't wanna to go too dark here. So I'm going to go in with some lighter yellow on this top area here. make this bottom more green so I can make the middle area more sandy. Just keep layering the different colors of yellow with a little bit of blue. And you can see, hopefully you guys can see that it is turning green. Anywhere that there's too much color, just press down harder and it lifts it out of the way. Right, 
but that area is looking very green and sandy. Here I'm just again going in with that golden yellow and tapping in a little bit of the purple. Get this brownish sandy look. A little bit of black, tiniest amount of black. Let's add some shadows here. We have some tiny little rocks there. my sponge off I'm going to go back in with my colorless blender and kind of blend over my sand and blend over my grassy area here and that really just blends it out and tones it out I think I'm going to try to mix a little bit more here. So I'm going to do a little bit of red, a little bit of yellow. That's going to give us this orangey color, which is good. That's what I want. A little more yellow in there, I think. Alright, so I have this kind of greenish foreground, a little bit of sand in the middle there, and then we have the blue water and the blue sky in the background there. So that's pretty good. And again, if you wanted to lighten up any more areas, you can just go in and use the eraser to lighten up some areas. All right, so now I think we can stamp in some of our other images. So we have this fence here. I think I'm just gonna stamp right here in the front.
Okay, and then we'll color that in in a second. And then I also want to do some of the accessory pieces. So we have this nice kite. That over here. Sand castle, and then a little bucket, put the little bucket over here, and then we have another kite. Let's see here. We put off to the side over here. So those are our accessories. So what's nice about the pan pastels is we can mix and match our medium here. So I can slide these pan pastels out of the way for a second. And I'm actually going to go in with some watercolor markers. And you can use pastel sticks, color pencils. You can use whatever you have on top of these pan pastels. And you'll notice I pretty much went in immediately. I didn't wait for anything. Like I didn't have to wait for anything to dry because it's a dry medium. It's not a wet medium. It's not a paint. It's not an ink. Um, so I can go right in immediately with these markers and go right over top of that. And I'm just using my big markers because they were just right here. Handy to grab. And remember, we're already using watercolor paper, so I don't have to worry about anything buckling. If I wanted to add additional water to this, it'd be, um, it's not going to hurt anything. really easy to do because the stamp makes it easy. All the illustrations are there. All I'm doing is just following the illustration and coloring it in, flicking my marker where there's grass.
adding color where it needs it. Let's make our little bucket over here bright red. Now, where the water is in the sand, I'm going to erase that right here. So it's pretty easy to erase. And now I'm able to go in with my blue marker and color that in. Okay, so we just have to color this other. And there we go. I'm going to change actually my water a little bit here. Let's gray this out, make it a little muddier. Put a little gray on there. dimension to our sand castle there and I think we are done so pretty easy to make this um, beach scene using these pan pastels and stamps from blue night rubber stamps just want this area to kind of look a little coastal so we want a little lighter but not too much lighter there we go and there we have a nice and easy beach scene. What a fun, playful card. Lots of color to it using the three stamps from Blue Night Rubber Stamps. And again, we started with the beach scene. And then we added beach fences in the corner. And then some accessories with the sand and castle accessories. And I did them all on watercolor with the pan pastels. Super easy to do. And then just colored them in with some markers. So now I will just spray this to set it and I will have a card that is ready to go. Great fun summer card. You could use it as a Father's Day card, birthday card, thinking of you card, miss you card. You know, anything that you wanted to do with it. So that's all I have for today, guys. If you have any questions, post them out down below. If you like this video, I appreciate your thumbs up. If you're not a subscribe, click the button that's going to pop up here. And if you click the bell, you will get a notification every time I post a new video. Thanks for watching, guys, and keep on stamping. Bye-bye.